One of the highlights of the show this year at Defence Vehicle Dynamics is the Terex 3. This is the latest generation Terex which has been developed by Singapore Technologies Kinetics. Terex 1 is in production and in service of the Singapore Armed Forces and has a typical gross weight of 24 tonnes and indeed is fully amphibious. The next one is Terex 2. That, that is currently being developed in conjunction with SAIC of the United States to meet the US Marine Corps requirements for a new vehicle. A total of 16 vehicles are being built in America and that will go through, through a series of trials in competition with another vehicle. That is called the Marine Personnel Carrier Program and obviously it's fully amphibious. That has a typical gross vehicle weight of up to 30 tonnes. Today people want more volume, more payload and more protection and that is tending to drive the weight of the vehicles up. So what we have here is Terex 3. This is a typical gross vehicle weight of 35 tonnes and is therefore not amphibious. But it can be fitted with a modular armour package as shown here and you can see it's got cameras to give you situational awareness through 360 degrees. Typically, this information is fed onto screens at the commanders, gunners, drivers and the dismount section in the back. So when they leave the vehicle, they can see what the terrain around them looks like. This particular one has got a remote controlled turret armed with a 30mm cannon and a 7.62 machine gun. And as you can see, it's got a panoramic sighting system, it's got a coax machine gun, grenade launchers and indeed a mock-up of a launcher for two anti-tank guided missiles on the right side of the turret. So this is the latest generation of Terex and at the moment this is developed mainly to meet the export requirements because as I say people want more volume, more payload and more protection and this is what Terex 3 developed by Singapore Technology Kinetics and being shown here for the first time is all about.